Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Demonte, bringing you a banger. Don't forget to follow on my Twitch, please. This is where we have daily content. Hello, everybody. This is WWE 2K17, but the superstars are my Twitch viewers. When I was a kid, I used to really play with, like, wrestlers and watch, you know, wrestling and stuff like that, so... This really does strike my interest to bring this to my community and to maybe have you guys also enjoy doing this with me. So we've been doing this now for maybe about a month or two on my stream and uh, the results have been pretty decent on my stream. My viewers have been liking it. Um, some people have been wanting to rewatch their matches and rewatch things or even just watch the matches in general. So. We're going to start bringing them to YouTube, but before we start bringing them to YouTube, we need to go over some stuff, and that's what this video here is. So first things first, when you're actually in my stream, you'll be able to get to make a wrestler. And it usually takes about 10 to maybe 15 minutes to set everything up, including your moves and, you know, everything like that. The reason being that you need to be in the stream to do so is that it's, you know, if you're trying to write stuff in Discord and... You know what I mean? It's just, it's kind of hard to exactly get everything the way that someone wants it inside text. So if you guys come to the stream, we can tweak your character, we can change things, we can do the way that you want to your, you know, your character to be. Now obviously some of the characters are comical, I made my guy a little funny, some of the guys are really big and strong and muscular, so it's, it just depends on how you guys want to play and how you guys want to make your character. Some of the rules here is that each person will start out with 80 overall and this will basically help the superstars, you know, spread out at the beginning so that not everybody has the same, like, damage, not everybody has the same, you know, things going on basically. So when you get to 80, you give yourself a little bit of a, you know, point spend to give your, your, your superstar his fight style. So if, like if your fight style is jumping off the ropes, and if you started at 70, you wouldn't really have as much of a, a, a chance to change anything because your character starts at that. So going to 80 gives you a chance to really change up some of your superstar and get him you know, ready for the fights. So we constantly have new superstars coming in, and we also have the older superstars that were the first ones created. Now the, the way that this stuff works out is that there is a point system, so the older superstars will be slightly better, while the newer guys will be able to compete with each other to build themselves up so that they can start competing with the other guys. That's the idea. Um, so far, it has been working, so we're going to keep this you know, in effect, basically. One other thing is, is that the newer guys are going to be wanting to compete for the U.S. title, while the older, better, you know, higher overall competitors are competing for the world title. And then there's also going to be things mixed in, like we're going to have promos, we're going to have callouts and stuff like this. So when you do call someone out and they, you know, you make them your rival and stuff, you guys can decide on you know, a selected match type to fight each other in and things like that. Um, creating storylines is really interesting and we are trying to make more storylines to make this, you know, wrestling scenario more interesting. The storylines entail like, you know, a person turning, you know, face to heel or someone getting attacked backstage and then it leading up into a pay-per-view fight or you have two superstars that will have a similar fight style and then go into let's say like a hardcore match because the both of them fight similarly enough you know what i'm saying like things like this these are the storylines that we're able to think of like at the moment we have a heel holding the world title which essentially is like he, he's being very disrespectful for, to all the other former champions, and he's being disrespectful to all of the other competitors, right? And that's just kind of the storyline for that character. He's kind of, you know, that's just his story. So we do have things like number one contender fights. If the champion loses his belt, he'll have to fight someone at a high level to earn another number one contender fight because previously we had it where the champion gets an instant rematch and that would essentially just steal the spot 
from you know the number one contender who has earned it and essentially it just it's just not the right way of handling it we figured a better method out and this is the better method um and then one more thing i want to mention is that the champions will be defending their titles a lot so the title is going to change hands basically all the time almost every week in quotations the wrestling week we will you know, essentially have at least one title get defended, two possibly. Um, we are just now starting to take over another show, which is the main event show, which will allow us to have more fights, which will allow us to have our newer talent perform on that show, which will allow our better talent to perform on Raw and to perform for the title and stuff. So things are still getting worked out and tweaked, but right now everything is pretty much set in stone. Let's go ahead and go over the point system for the wrestling that I've created here. First, if you win a fight, you get plus five. That's into your skills. If you lose a fight, that's a plus one. Any other match types, which are things like a no holds barred or a backstage brawl or a anything in this nature, you get a plus three. Now, if you lose a fatal, a fatal four way, a triple threat, or any of these other one on one match types like a hell in a cell, you know, things like this, you'll get a plus three for losing, and then if you win these match types, you'll get a plus nine. So then next, if you win a title, you get a plus 10. If you defend a title, you get a plus five. And if you lose a title fight, you get a plus five. Next, if you're on a pay-per-view show, you get a plus two, just for being on the show. Next, if you win a pay-per-view show, you get a plus five. That's already added to your plus five for the win. Next, you have the Battle Royal winner, which will get a plus 10, plus an instant title fight. Then you'll have the Money in the Bank winner, which we've already had a Money in the Bank winner. Then we'll have a WrestleMania fight, which if you just like the pay-per-view, if you fight there, you get plus 4. If you win a WrestleMania fight, you get plus 10. And then lastly, at the bottom, if you read, after every 10 matches, you'll either get another skill or an ability. And then if you win a title, you'll also gain a skill or an ability. And then to make sure that you guys understand, it only happens once per title. Next, here's a list of the current superstars that we actually have. As you can see, they range from the overall of 80, all the way through 85, 84, 87, all the way up to 88, which is the highest currently at the moment. Now obviously, from what we have currently, we're, we're able to have more than what we have. Just because these are the superstars that I'm showing you doesn't mean these are the only ones that we'll have. We want more superstars, so we want more people to join in. So the current amount of superstars we, that we have is 21, which will allow us to have a, like a 20-man battle royal or a 15 or you know somewhere along those lines. So out of about 21 superstars, we have two titles being held. One is the U.S. Championship, and we've got things like Tradesman holding it, MDB holding it, Zeno holding it, z holding it twice, and Spiderwire being a three-time United States Champion. And then if you go on to the next page, you'll see the weeks held. You know, some people held it for one week, some people held it for a few weeks, some people held it for 11 weeks, which is z -Pak. And z holding it for 11 weeks is the longest title reign that we have currently. Next up we have the world title, which people have held it either one to two times so far, and the people holding it are people like Vivat, myself, which is Demonte King. Flavio is a two-time world champion. Taylor is a two-time world champion. Then if you go to the next page, you'll see how long these people have held the title. It ranges from one week, two weeks, four weeks, to eight weeks. Flavio holding it eight weeks in total, which is a big deal considering it's the world title. And then lastly, we are actually keeping track of the records of each fighter and this is the current to date record fight record for the superstars beside the superstars with a trophy are the current champs as you can see it ranges from people having about 20 fights 
to the newest people having as little as two fights. People having, you know, 15 to five. As you guys can see, the system is working in this, you know, factor. You've got the newer people having larger fights, and then you've got some of the newer guys that are coming in that don't have as many fights, but are still able to work for that new title, which is the US title. And as I already mentioned, we have a new show, which is the main event, which is right after Raw. So we'll be able to add some of our newer talent to that show so that we can have more people continuously fight instead of just having seven to six fights per show. Now we'll be able to have even more people be considered in this list. Also, the fight record really just keeps us, you know, keeping track of the, you know, the how many fights you have, keeping track of who you fought, keeping track of, you know, certain things that we need to keep track of. That's really the gist of having the, uh, the records. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this video and the ones that will be coming soon. This one really was just to you know, really explain stuff and explain the, the, the series and explain the, the situation basically. So hopefully you guys are interested in it. It's something that I like and something that I enjoy so maybe we can do something with it. So leave a like on the video, comment if you guys do you know, enjoy, join my stream if you want to make a character, and we'll see you in the next video. Possibly a Payday 3 video, possibly a Payday 2 video, maybe something else, we'll figure it out.